back. He's also uh, led off the 200 medley relay tonight for the upper main line team that won the 200 medley relay. So Bruce will now take us through the introductions. Here are the championship finalists, men's 100-yard butterfly. In lane number one, ninth in this event last year, he'll be a maroon at the University of Chicago. From Sarasota, Martin Bafico. Ninth in this event last year. Lane two, eighth in this event. From the Pocomo Family Y in Pennsylvania, Zach Wolbert. Lane three, third in the 50 fly last summer. He'll be a Quaker at the University of Penn this fall. From the YMCA of the North Shore, Oliver Symetrovich. Lane four. Now an 11-time national champion. He's a national high school record hoarder, uh, holder in the 100 short course meter fly. From Upper Main Line, Brendan Burns. Lane five, fourth in this event last year from Birmingham, Michigan, Alex Margario. He'll be a Longhorn at Texas in the fall. Lane six, 37th in this event last year. That's quite a climb. He'll be a Tiger at Towson University from Spencer Family Wyatt near Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Cody Stewart. Lane number seven, 15th in this event last year from Green Bay, Kaiser Neverman. And in lane number eight, Last year, he finished 90th, 9-0. 90th in this event, all the way to the A final from the West Virginia Wild, Tri-County Y, Tim Stallings. This is well, there's a climb for Tim Stallings and a climb for Cody Stewart. A big climb for Tim Stallings for all, all the way from 90th into the A final. We'll keep our eye on Brendan Burns, your national record cut, 2165. Tim Phillips, Marietta, Ohio, set back in 2009. That was quite a sprint. Got a little mechanical problem there in lane number two with Zach Walbert. Zach was in this final last year. They're trying to move the platform. It looks like it's not in good shape. First issue we've had tonight. You can see that right on the camera there. It's unfortunate that the swimmers are up on the block. They are ready to go for Zach from Pocono Family Y. Beautiful part of the Poconos. And it's still not in place. So they've taken the swimmers down. They're going to have to do a little mechanical repair. Looks like to that starting block. Greensboro Aquatic Staff is always very, very good. And very responsive here. They take that off. And they might have to put a brand new one on. So as they're doing that. They'll make sure that they get a new platform. And they'll be out there momentarily. So, Can we use the older ones on that? So Brendan Burns, good shot of him. Good shot of Brendan right now in front of us. Once again, uh, Bruce mentioned that he's a short course meter national record holder. I mentioned earlier he's the Pennsylvania State Swimmer of the Year as a junior. And did a phenomenal job at PA High School Championships. Chatting away, they'll have to reorganize a little bit here. He's talking to, uh, looks like Majerio from Birmingham. And Bruce is getting them all fired up. 
Majerio is going to the University of Texas. Bruce mentioned. We got some college swimmers in here. Martin Bafico, University of Chicago Maroons. He's in lane one. And now they'll step up. Good job once again by our great staff here at the Greensboro Aquatic Center. That was a very quick replacement. World class facility here. World class staff. Uh, pretty good start right there. Once again, 2165 is your national record pace at the 50. And we had Burns out in 2296 this morning. And again, this is his third swim tonight, his sixth swim of the, of the day. He's out in 2188, so pretty close to that national record pace, only 23 hundredths of a second off. Has to come back now off that record pace. And he is your leader. Another great turn there for Brendan. Here he comes. Once again, 46-96. Will he get there? He is 46-61. A new national record for Brendan Burns in his sixth swim of the day. So move aside Tim Phillips finally. That record was in 2000.